Hi, my name is Lavinia and this is Peter. Welcome to Games Made Easy, a channel to learn board games quickly and easily. Today, to help a friend Wael, I'm going to teach you how to play Skull. Skull is probably one of the most simple games I'll ever teach. But what I love about it is that it's probably got the best ratio between how simple the rules are and how much fun you'll get out of it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. In Skull, you play a traveler bringing back presents of three perfumed flowers and a decorated skull. In this three to six player game, you will have to bluff and strategize on how to get rid of your opponents with a skull or how to score two points with the flowers. Once a player scores two points, the game ends and the player wins. You score points during the game by fulfilling contracts and guessing correctly where the flowers are hidden. This is probably the simplest setup you'll ever see in a game. You've got each tribe has four discs and a mat. The mat also serves as your scoreboard. You flip it once, you've scored a point. You flip it again, you've won the game. Each player then chooses a disc and places it face down on the mat. The game plays in three phases, adding discs, bidding for a contract, and attempting to fulfill that contract. Draw for first position and proceed clockwise. During the first phase, each player in their turn can add one of their discs face down on the board Make sure when you put them that you stack them where you, other players can clearly see how many discs are in play. Only the player should see the disc. It's best if they know what they're doing and they don't play blindly. At any time, a player can decide not to add discs and start a contract. That is the start of phase two. The player starting the contract announces a number between one and the number of discs in place. In this case, between one and five. One, two, three, four, five. Then each player proceeding clockwise must either increase the bid or pass. Once all the players but one have passed, we start phase three. In this phase, you have to reveal the number of discs equal to the contract that's just been made. So say the pink has won the contract and it's for three flowers. The pink has to start by revealing its discs and two flowers. So that's two flowers already. We need one more flower. So I can choose whichever discs I want, but in the case of the blue, I have to pick the top one. I cannot start by revealing the bottom one before revealing the top one. So say I open the top one and it's a skull. So that means the pink player has now lost a disc so we're going to take them and we're going to shuffle them and the person who got who had the skull is going to pick randomly one disc and put it back in the box say for example they uh, the pink had not picked the skull they had picked this disc here and this is a flower that is three flowers the contract is completed the pink one gets one point, so flips the mat to the black side. Now, if the pink had had already one point and it was already on the black side, we would have flipped it and the pink would have won the game. The new round starts with the player who did the last contract, whether they fulfilled it or not. If that player had lost their last disc and was eliminated, then it's the player who had the skull who took that person out who would start the turn. My tip to win at Skull is to read the table. You'll find that once a player scores a point, the game changes dramatically, and you might have to be a bit more adventurous with your bidding. The game goes on round after round until a player scores two points or there's only one player left with discs. That's how you play Skull. Skull is great with three to six players, the more the merrier. There is a two player variant where each player plays two tribes. It takes about 10 to 30 minutes, depending if you have experts at the table. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe or leave in the comments a game you'd like us to teach. We'll make more games easy soon. Bye now.